In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit be with you. Good morning. And welcome to all as we celebrate this beautiful solemnity in honor of St. Joseph, the husband of Mary. As we do so, let us prepare our hearts and ask forgiveness of our sins. Lord Jesus, you heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Together we pray glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the son of David will live forever. The Son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The Son of David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever will I maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. The son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law 
that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world. But through the righteousness that comes from faith, for this reason it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift, and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said. Thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They never cease to praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, But before they lived together, Mary was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, Do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Yesterday I stopped at one of the local Catholic nursing homes and the receptionist there is a woman who 30 years ago was a student at Blessed Sacrament when I was uh, a young, younger priest just coming into the diocese. And as I was leaving the nursing home, I says, remember, tomorrow is the feast of St. Joseph. And she said, oh, St. Joseph, I love St. Joseph. When I was without uh, employment, when I couldn't find a job, I Beg St. Joseph to help me find employment, and here I am as a receptionist. And I said, well, make sure you give thanks to St. Joseph today, tomorrow. It's interesting as we look at the litany of St. Joseph, all these different titles, protector, Mary, foster father of Jesus, one of the last titles of Joseph is given the terror of demons. Joseph, the terror of demons. And we might ask ourselves, why this title? Why would the demons be terrorized by Joseph? And I think the answer is quite clear 
and readily available is because he was so obedient. Take Mary as your wife. Do not be afraid to take her into your home. The angel appeared to Joseph in Bethlehem. Take your son, Joseph, take your son Jesus into Egypt. They want to kill him. And immediately he gets up and leaves. In Egypt, it's safe to go back home. You may go back home. We find Joseph not pondering, should I go, should I wait, should I wait till morning, can I wait till next week, but in faith, he hears the message of God through the angels, and in faith, he moves and acts readily. How blessed more our lives would be if we could do the same, to hear the voice of God, to read the voice of God, Instead of pondering it, wondering it, should I, shouldn't I, what are the pros and what are the cons, but like Joseph, simply say, yes, Lord, I will do it, and I will do it now. And I suspect we can, we also are called to be terror of demons, and that happens when we follow and imitate the goodness and the obedience and the faith of Joseph to act quickly as God has promised, as God prompts us each and every day. Joseph is lifted up, has his own feast day, the solemnity of St. Joseph every March 19th because he accepted that responsibility of being the husband of Mary to be the foster father of Jesus in some ways, that ministry is given to each of us to take Jesus into our hearts, to make Jesus alive and well in our families, in our communities, in our parish, each and every day. May we pray for that grace to be more like Joseph, who says, who listens and who responds to the goodness and direction of God. In confidence we rise and let us pray for the needs of the church. that the church may continue to grow in number and faith as she bears witness to God's kingdom here on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all government and civic leaders may be endowed with wisdom and prudence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That husbands and fathers may be blessed with the courage, righteousness, humility, and faith of St. Joseph. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us gathered here may be emboldened by the Holy Spirit in following God's call for our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died may soon come to live in God's kingdom forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for James Michael Miles on the anniversary of his death, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, on this feast of St. Joseph, may we grow in obedience to all your commands. We ask this in all our prayers through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care, your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And on the solemnity of St. Joseph to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man, Joseph, was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit. And so with angels and saints, we give you praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these sacred mysteries. For on the night Jesus was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which would be poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, 
save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
Let us pray. <coughs> Almighty God, defend with unfailing protection the family you have nourished with food from this altar as we rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among them, which we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And through the Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell, The Immaculate Heart of Mary, St. Joseph, Pray for us. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in God's peace. Thanks be to God. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine. Novena to St. Anthony, O glorious St. Anthony, who by a miraculous revelation has directed all those who seek aid to come to thy altar with the promise that whoever visits it for nine consecutive Tuesdays and there piously invokes thee will fill the power of thy intercession I, a poor sinner, encouraged by this promise, come to thee, O powerful saint, and with a firm hope I implore thy aid, thy protection, thy counsel, and thy blessing. Obtain for me, I beseech thee, my request in this necessity. But if it should be opposed to the will of God and the welfare of my soul, obtain for me such other graces as shall be conducive to my salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Pray for us, O blessed Anthony. Let us pray, almighty and eternal God, who didst glorify thy faithful confessor, Anthony, with the perpetual gift of working miracles, graciously grant that what we confidently seek through his merits, we may surely receive through his intercession. 
to the infant Jesus in the arms of Saint Anthony. O Jesus, my Savior, who does vow safe to appear to Saint Anthony in the form of an infant, I implore thee through the love thou didst bear to this saint when he dwelt on earth and which thou now bearest to him in heaven. Graciously hear my prayer and assist me in my necessities. St. Anthony, our patron and our advocate. St. Anthony, powerful in word and work. St. Anthony, attentive to those who invoke thee. St. Anthony, glory of the church and honor of the Franciscan order. St. Anthony, whom the infant Jesus so much loved and honored. Through the intercession of St. Anthony, whose relic I hold, may be blessed today and always in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit.